Ola Cancer Sun Aries Moons, welcome to your 2023 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorded or live reading. Just send me an email, DM, or text me at 646 902 5715. When you view this, is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. And keeping that in mind, your 2022 Sun Moon predictions are still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you. The first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2023. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards in addition to a card of advice for 2023. So Cancer, Sun, Aries, Moons, when caution and impulsivity collide, it's in this combination. You are brave and have wonderful leadership qualities, but are selective about who you can trust on your team. Creative and dynamic, when you are involved in any project, you like working with other people towards a goal. Caring and sensitive, but you also know when to put yourselves first. After all, if you don't, who will? On the flip side, you do like to be needed and are protective over your home and family. As much as you like the comforts of a home base, your restlessness has you stepping out on an adventure or two. Managing your emotions can be problematic. You tend to take on too much stress, too much responsibility, and are susceptible to the moods in your environment. As a result, you can get temperamental, withdrawn, and downright cranky. Find an outlet to express your feelings to obtain emotional balance. Always making sure you're in on the action. You're the first to throw yourself into it while staying true to your introverted, introverted self. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Cancer, Sun, Aries, Moons for the year 2023? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground and come closer to Universe? Come closer, Divine, through your messages. Any messages would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? What do you see for January, February, March? We have the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. Uh... Oh. What else was I going to say? Oh, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. Always appreciated. We have the Six of Cups in the upright, of course, for April, May, June. <laughs> and what do you see for July, August, September? We have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. Alrighty, and... April, May, I mean, uh, September, no, October, November, December, we have the Two of Cups in the upright. Okay, so clearly this is a relationship. There's no getting around that. Um, so in, or a relationship that's going to happen in 2023, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse has you being kind of alone, kind of wishing that there was somebody that you kind of had wishing you had somebody to part of it is you you actually don't feel like you can take on all um the practical responsibilities that you have in your life um you're kind of saying it'd be really nice if i had someone to kind of like share the load with me kind of help out an extra set of hands even if it's you know maybe from a practical standpoint but it's also from an emotional standpoint things get stressful things get tough and you just think it would be nice to have that person around or a person around so you would like to depend on somebody you know believe it or not to kind of get you through these times so your prayers must get answered because in April, May, June, here comes somebody from your past. It's somebody that you have that's very dear in your heart, somebody you have very fond memories of, uh, somebody you had a connection with, and you know it was really great when, when that connection went on. So it could be an ex, it could be a childhood sweetheart, a high school sweetheart, um, you know, it, whatever. It was, it was a really good time, very innocent, very sweet. Um, the two of you connected very well back then so and there is a consideration of reconciliation so either this person wants to get back together with you or you're considering getting back together with them i feel as though they're the ones that kind of come forth and are like hey and see this little kid has a flower he's giving us the girl is like hey do you want to do you want to date again um so i'm getting that sense and then july august september here's you considering it so this is, but you're not jumping right in. You're taking careful, cautious consideration of this. You're factoring the risks involved. You're factoring who's involved. You're deciding whether you should invest in this and how much you should invest. So you're gonna find that July, August, September is gonna be the period of time where you're actually, um, you know, uh, fleshing out the practical, practical concerns that you're kind of having and figuring out what is the strategy, what's the plan, how are things gonna be um, before you kind of move into this but you do move into this because in october november december
remember when we had the two of cups in the upright that is a card of somebody that connects to you um you know like no other they totally get you um you guys see eye to eye same values same uh you know things in common uh it could be a card of soulmate twin flame the one whatever labels you prescribe to that i don't always prescribe to or necessarily prescribe to but you kind of get what I'm saying so um and it's also a card of uh it can be a card of reconciliation so um you know I think you're getting together with someone from your past and that's what you have to look forward to in 2023 um so if this does resonate consider a personal pre-record pre-recorded or live reading just send me an email dm or text me at 646-902-5715 uh otherwise make sure you click on the video link below where I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice for 2023 check out your 2022 sun moon predictions that are still in my playlist see if they rang true for you look me up on facebook instagram like share subscribe or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts otherwise cancer sun aries moons i will see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye